Hi. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Stephen, what's going on? Why is everything different? Why are you in the guest chair? Why aren't you behind the desk? First of all, I'm going to need you to back off because you're freaking me out with all these questions. <laughs> it's simple. This is pre-recorded. I'm actually still on Thanksgiving vacation. As you watch this, I'm in a beanbag chair, binge listening to true crime podcasts with an entire pumpkin pie balanced on my bulging gut. <laughs> and I'm spraying canned whipped cream directly into one of the holes on my face. <laughs> God, I hope it's my mouth. But even though I'm not here right now, tonight is still an all-new show with a twist. I spent a lot of that time in that chair right over there interviewing celebrities and newsmakers and authors in this chair, finding out everything about them, what they think, what they feel, how they smell. Hugh Laurie, wintergreen and fresh-cut grass. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to flip the script this time, have some of my celebrity friends over to interview me for a change. That's right, even in a show that I pre-recorded so that I wouldn't have to host a show, I'm still not hosting that show. <laughs> so sit back and relax, because that's what I'm doing right now. I think in the Caribbean. It's The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert edition. Tonight, Stephen is in the hot seat. Hosted by Jon Stewart. Plus... Neil deGrasse Tyson, Kerry Washington, Jake Tapper, and Charlemagne the God. Featuring John Baptiste and Stay Human. And now, live on tape from the Ed Sullivan Theater in New York City, it's Stephen Colbert! John Stewart. I haven't said that in a while. Well, we're going to get right to it. Our first guest tonight <laughs> is the host of The Late Show on CBS, for now. <laughs> He's won multiple Emmy and Peabody Awards and award for most obedient Sunday school student and got his start on an obscure cable network. Please welcome to the program Mr. Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Stephen Colbert! <laughs> I believe that's your water, yeah. Thank you very much. Mm. You're very welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> now, obviously, I haven't done this in a while, so let me just, I'm just going to start with what's on the card. I am strangely nervous. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Who the f do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually on the cards. That was uh, that's what we a call the business bit, an ad lib. A little bit, a little bit like John Stewart. I think I'm not a, a little, a little bit like John Stewart. Not yeah. at all. Look at a you. A little bit. Look how hale and hearty you look. Thank you. Coming in here every night, taking in the toxins sure. and spewing back out rainbow-colored sprinkles. Like that's your job, <laughs> and you and you do it, it beautifully. Sprinkles. It ain't sprinkles. Oh, it's it sprinkles, sprinkles, baby. By the way, thank you for dressing up. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
Thank you for taking this seriously. I really appreciate. I really appreciate it. I don't have much space down here. I know. And down so obviously, I don't have an extensive wardrobe. Yep. I just wear what I left the show in three years ago. <laughs> And I continue. I haven't, I've only been interviewed once before by you in my life. And last time I was Al Sharpton. That is correct. <laughs> the last time I interviewed, Al Sharpton was going to be on The Daily Show. Yeah. And at the last minute, yes. he decided he didn't feel like it. I don't, even, I don't even think it was like, I'm not feeling well. I think it was more like, I'm not coming. Yes. <laughs> and you stepped in and I interviewed you with the Al Sharpton question. I just answered all the Al Sharpton questions. <laughs> Well, the part you forget about it is that I had a ticket in my hand and I was walking out of the yes. Daily Show because I uh, two weeks before it was released worldwide, I had a ticket to a pre-screening yes. of uh, The Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> and I, my, I put my hand on the door to leave The Daily Show and I heard, Stephen Colbert, come to the studio. Stephen, come to the studio. And I said, <laughs> And he said, you're Al Sharpton. I said, got it. That was literally the entire conversation. And then it just ran, and it was so brilliant that Al Sharpton's Action Network actually then asked Steven to take over. Yeah. <laughs> Which I was... And here I am. I was shocked about. <laughs> Very few people know, Steven is on television, and he shares with you every night his thoughts and, and feelings and dreams uh, about this country and, and his hopes for the future of it. But what you don't know is what a, a devoted and lovely family man uh, Stephen Colbert is, and I, and I wanted to ask you yeah. about that. Sure. Which child do you love the most? <laughs> because I think it's interesting, because I know who I think it is, yeah. but I'd love to hear who you think. Uh, probably Nate. <laughs> That's my child. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Got out of that. Well, yeah. Let me ask you a question about, yes. about uh, uh, Donald Trump, if I may. Uh -huh. uh, Donald Trump, great president or greatest president? What, what, would, you, what would you say? Uh-huh. Uh, I think great, great president. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else other than great or greatest? Just great or greatest. I got that question off of an old... There was a show that used to come on after mine. You uh -huh. would have loved it. I don't know uh, about that. I don't know about it that. It was hosted by this high-status conservative idiot. <laughs> Last night, I go out to dinner. Last night, I go out to dinner uh, with, 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 with my wife and my daughter, and as we're leaving this restaurant, people are very nice. People come and say, oh, oh I really like the show. I really like the show. Nice. I said, oh, thanks very much. I'm trying to say goodbye to my daughter. She's, she's going back. She's going back off. She, she works out of town. She's about to leave, so I'm saying, oh, hey, this guy comes up and goes, oh, I really love the show. I said, thanks very much. And he goes, I like the old show more, but still. <laughs> your old work a little oh, bit better. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uncomfortable. Yeah. Let me ask you, since you brought up Do you get your that? Children, oh, you don't have new work yet. No, I don't work. You, I don't work. Ah. No. Don't. I go door to door delivering. Oh, really? I now go door to door delivering satirical news. Oh. Wow. I just, I just ring wow. a doorbell. Then they, then they canvassing. Come. That's right. The thing that I think, I don't think Donald Trump likes the job of president, but he likes the trappings of power. I don't think he likes the, like, why are you talking to me about energy policy? Just get the shot of me going on to the helicopter. Looking right. like a monster. Why are you line. asking me any questions? You know, why are you asking me two questions? Do One you... question's okay. Two questions, then you might mention that I just lied to you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When you met him before he was president and he was on the show, and had you met him before? I had. Right? I had met Donald Trump backstage at, uh, at Fallon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was uh, late night or whether it was the Tonight Show, but I went over there and I did. Was he I, running for president at the time, or no, he was? He was just a guy. When you and... met him outside of that, <laughs> did the bluster seem charming in a sort of music man kind he, of a way? He wasn't blustering at all. He was like, "Hey, nice to meet you." Like, hey, congratulations what? on the show. He wasn't blustery at He's all. He's got that gear. He's got that gear of like <laughs> just some guy you'd see someplace. That's what he seemed like. Just some, just some guy. And he was like, oh, let's take a picture. He was like, all ready for, for to take a picture. And orange like you couldn't believe. Like in person. <laughs> I can believe that. In person, you've met him. You've met him. Yeah. He was, uh, you famously, you gave him, a lot of people have nicknames for Donald Trump, but you have the greatest nickname of all time. Would you care to share it with the people of the CBS audience? Uh, I refer to him as <laughs> Face Von Clownstick. <laughs> Let me say this. Affectionately. 
Always affectionately. I know I'm being Always interviewed with right respect. now. I know I'm being interviewed right now. Yes, but can you I are. ask you, do yes. you do you miss at all having a show that deals with these kind of jokes uh, now that he's president of the United States? Because you're like, God, ah, that'd be nice to take a couple of <laughs> couple of swipes here or there. No. You and I both famously know we were turd miners. We toiled in the turd mines. We, we um, grew up in Appalachia. We grew we up in Appalachia. We were poor Appalachian turd miners. That's we came right. from a family, of, a family of turd... Well, you know, my family, back in the old country, Yes. they were goat ball lickers. That yes. was... They're turd mining was a step up. Turd mining was a step up for them. But we both lost many people close to us to turd lung. It's been a... <laughs> it's been a terrible thing. Yeah. So, working at The Daily Show, I was... I felt as though I was toiling in the turd mines. And then I finally quit, and a giant turd asteroid <laughs> heads towards the planet. <laughs> now, in that instance, if someone said, hey, you were a turd miner, this is the largest turd deposit ever seen. <laughs> don't, don't you wish you were in there? And you're just like, I'm out of the turd business. <laughs> I'm out. Come on in, John. The turd's fine. <laughs> we have to go to a commercial. Stick around. When we come back, more Stephen Colbert.